Hey guys, so today I will show you how to update from iOS 10 to 11.1.2 for the Topanga jailbreak or the Liber iOS jailbreak. Okay, the first thing you will need to do is set the nonce generator in your device's NVRAM. The nonce in the NVRAM must be the same as the nonce on the SHSH blob uh, for the restore to work. So what you can see here is I'm going into the blob uh, after changing it to a plist and finding the generator. And for my particular jailbreak, I am using uh, I'm using the Yalu jailbreak, and I'm doing SSH over USB. And I will have this command for SSH posted in the description. So I just fill in my nonce generator to set the nonce. Um, for other jailbreaks, you might have to use different tools or find different ways to SSH in for 10.3. Uh, for 64-bit devices, even though there may not be a full jailbreak, I believe there's a tool called Vortex Nonce uh, that you can use to set the nonce generator in your device's NVRAM. Okay, once you have your nonce generator set, you will open up Future Restore. Um, here I'm using Windows, and I would like to give a huge thank you to First Encounter on Reddit. And I will post links to the Reddit guide as well. So here I CD into the directory with Future Restore in it. And you need to also make sure that your SHSH blob and your IPSW for the intended version is in the same directory. Now you will paste that um, command you see right there uh, to run future store, uh, future restore. And at this point, most people would be restoring to iOS 11.1.2. But I only have the blob for 11.1.1, and the important thing is, uh, well, first you set the file name arguments for your SHSH blobs and your IPSW, and then there's the, uh, here I use the flags latest SEP and latest baseband, and you need to perform this restore while 11.2.1 is still signed because uh, the latest SEP um, from 11.2.1 uh, needs to be compatible with the firmware uh, that you're restoring to. The, the Secure Enclave firmware must still be signed. And I believe that is true for the baseband as well, but I'm not sure. So I have started the restore here. Now, at this point, I was waiting for the SEP and the baseband to download, and I don't know why they took so long, but I, I did a step that you probably don't need to, and that is I put my device in restore mode, so it, uh, for some reason, it automatically rebooted during the restore, and I ran into problems, and I had to rerun the command. And uh, a few seconds ago, you probably saw that I also showed that the AP nonce um, in my device's RAM uh, matches the AP nonce on the, on the SHSH. Now here what I am doing is I have rerun the restore command um, and with extra arguments uh, for the SEP and baseband because they take so long to download and my device restores. Um, and even after I set these flags, for some reason, the restore would still hang on extracting file system, so I had to hit Control c a couple of times after a while um, to make sure it wouldn't get hung up. So here's the completed restore. I don't actually have footage of the restore command run, but here is the aftermath.
and at the beginning you probably shouldn't spin recovery mode, otherwise you will have to do the reruns like I did if your if um, your downloads are too slow or uh, your restore takes too long. All right, in this final screenshot, you can see that I've just restored the uh, my iPhone 5S to 11.1.1, .1, even though Apple is no longer signing this firmware. Now, a couple of reminders or a few things to keep in uh, keep in mind when doing this. You will need a 64-bit device on iOS 9 or 10 with non-setting ability, and you will need to do this restore while Apple is still signing a firmware that has a SEP, um, a secure enclave firmware, that is compatible with iOS 11.1.2, or the version you are restoring to, the version of iOS 11. Also, keep in mind that most devices will not be able to go back to 10.x or whichever, uh, whatever your originating firmware was. Um, you will not be able to go back after this restore. And if something goes wrong, you may be forced to restore to the latest firmware. And uh, yeah, just be prepared for that. Make sure you back up all your data. And keep in mind that uh, at the time of this recording, the Topanga and iOS and Liber iOS jailbreaks are still in for developers only. So um, for the average user, they may not be so useful, and you probably want to wait until the full release of the jailbreaks. Thanks for watching, and I hope everything goes well.